Welcome everybody, hope you guys are having an awesome day and welcome to today's flight. Today, doing a full flight from uh, Anchorage, Alaska to Chicago here, Illinois. We have a flight time of roughly 6 hours. But before the video, don't forget to like, subscribe and let's get it and get this flight started. Stabilizer. Ground power on. Flap. Flap. Right, so, ground power on, battery on, <coughs> energy power arm. Seat pull sign, smoking sign, select arm and on. And let's see. Okay, let's get some lights on. Alright, lights on complete. So, adhere uh, set. Or IRS set navigation mode. Cargo to cargo temperature can stay as is. Ignition stay off. Hydraulic pumps good. Electricity pan good. Packs good, fuel will be set in a short while. Low light, nav light on. And let's do a fire test. Engine 1, fire. Engine 2, fire. Engine 3, fire. Fire test, good. Go downstairs and let's see, Unicom is set. Both frequencies are set on the or not, volume to me. And let's go to the tablet, dispatch, import, and boarding. boarding requested. Set fuel boarding. and payload, nobody. Bus is Options. Let's double check the metric. And send flat plan. Payload is at 48%. Let's double check that. So, zero fuel weight. One on that. That's great, great, great. So, put you to there. Departure runway 1. Five. Let's get the winds, weights, and everything. State. Okay. Service. Open the main cargo door. Back to, back to performance. And let's see. Calculate. Calculation done. Let's go to FMC. Flight plan in it. Flight plan in it. Good. Initial the IRS. Flight number for today will be World Cargo 572. Initial flight level will be 3. Let's check 330. With a step climb up to 350. And that's that. And let's do the temperature and winds. So top of climb temperature will be negative 47 degrees Celsius with a wind or wind, wind strength at 48 knots. Cost index will be 200 knot 200. And our ultimate for today is going to be Minneap Indianapolis. And that's put in. Let's go to the next page. Get the weights. Put in everything else. And take off central gravity at 21.7. Let's go to flat plan and let's go to put our departure in. <coughs> <coughs> so, then via the Anko 9 departure, non transition via runway 15. Insert. And then removing the TED waypoint at once because we won't be needing that. Setting you to TO, go to takeoff and approach, flex 45, flap set to 25, and let's see outside the temperature of, let me just, of 13 degrees Celsius. UP 0, 0.0 and winds headwind at 1 3 knots. Alright, still not working. 62, 64 and 73. Trim to 7.4 and let's set the dialer flaps. <coughs> 
95%. If you can stay off for now. Yes, we have about... Welcome back. So, <coughs> floodlight is set. QNH. Or Q, not QNH, that's not, that's not correct. Term. Altimeter set to 3014. 3014 set on all sides. Ignition select the Bravo. And let's see, fuel pumps, everything else, so we're going to nose to the left. Release parking brakes, please. Commencing push. All engines clear. Start at will. Starting engine number two. And fuel. Oil pressure, that's Good. Alright, engine number one, XSS is starting. <coughs> Let's get engine number three up and going. Please set parking brakes. Parking brakes set, she will be added. For a good engine start. Cockpit to ground. We have a good engine start. You can disconnect. Unlocking gear. Alright, so let's hit the trim. And engine number three successfully starting up, or has been starting up successfully. And trim set. Flaps set. Tow truck disconnected. Bypass pin removed. Left is clear. Right is clear. Bottom truck track left, right, up, down, left, right. Flight control check complete. Everything else good. Let's go to the let's see. Engine display. And let's arm. Navigation and FMC speed and profile. And long with the arm the. And we have now arm the climb mode. APU stop. Turn the flights. Going to be a short taxi to the runway. So, 
Flap set, speed brake, select armed. Trim set, lights can be set as soon as it crosses the threshold. And let's see traffic data. You are airport. Traffic, World Cargo 572, lining up from 15. Alright, landing lights select on. Transponder is also selected on. Right, so on the runway, trust set and departure trust has been set. Clock also automatically started. Lights good. Here we go. <coughs> Let's see, climb power has been set. Still doing manual control. And let's see, 3000 feet, auto flight select on. Bleeder has come back online. This are auto brake. And weather radar is online, speed 205 knots, 4500 feet, flaps, oh. wrong way, slats, flap zero, slats down, alright, so I will monitor the climb, see you after the cruise, so see you talk to you guys in a couple of times.
welcome back. Let's see. Landing lights extend but not on. And seatbelt signs, smoking signs all select on. We are currently at 11,500 feet. I have forgotten to set the altimeter as usual, so let's do that. Let's see, 3001. the range on you and we are inbound ILS 27 right for Chicago here Flight plan, take the approach. Here we are. So, landing. There. Setting. C27. Right. Uh, aircraft weight. No reversers, auto brake, and set the low. Let's try medium. Right, auto brake select high. Have some problem with my configuration, so I didn't have reversers, but I will fix that for later. So auto brake select max. Speed brake armed. Set in the dialer flap to 15. Steady altitude. and 50 knots set and let's 
on Air, airport inside So slats can go down just because we're going to be moving into low speed territory so it's good to be ready when you are getting to lower speeds. Alright, final altitude of 200, 2200 feet set. Back to engine. Stabilizer motion. Alright, all this out. Slope is moving to 
Gymnastic passes the diamonds when you activate approach mode. Flaps 15. Alright, landing mode armed. Right flaps and slats looking good. Approach mode is armed. City is with the new airport in sight. Gear can wait. Auto brake set. Speed brake armed. Stabilizer motion. All right, trim's moving. miles out of the runway so localizer has been captured and glide slope diamond within one view the one dot gear select down and yes gear is down and city is looking absolutely beautiful Speed will be 162 knots. Flap select of 35, landing flap set. Right, altitude has been reached. Here we will stay until we get our dry slope. So it won't be long. I can see say now. Approximately 0.7 nautical knots. No, 1.9. photos and the glide slope coming in glide slope capture trust set landing speed set gear and speed flaps and speed brake landing and auto brake set 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 and lights are set for landing that's today we are Let's try the old map for today, I haven't used that again. Stable, continue. We are stable, continue approach. Approaching minimum. 
よ。751 feet per minute, not great, but not terrible. APU select on, all engines select off, beacon light can go wrong button. Beacon light off, no slide off at the same time, APU power is already connected, and seatbelt sign select off. Welcome to Chicago, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed this fight. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out the video to subscribe button to get to make more videos for this month's longer fights. Other than that, like, subscribe, see you in the next video. Fly away, right? Have a awesome.